always first, I give God all the praise and glory. This is God's holy channel. This is God's holy channel. The Holy Spirit put on my heart to share this video that a sister in Christ posted. Two mornings ago, I received a closed eye vision awake. First, I heard the word Israel. Then I heard many incoming rockets and saw one after another steady. Here is a video of a heaven and hell testimony. God bless you all. Praise the Lord, um, Genevieve here. Um, I just wanted to get on here and share a beautiful sister in Christ. Sister, say hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Sister Cecilia. Um, she's got a beautiful testimony. Um, God is moving in such a wonderful way. Um, so, as we, as I was at the hospital, um, praying uh, for people, closing. ministering Please to people, I saw Sister Cecilia and. She asked me and, and brother Stefano to come and pray for her son. And uh, we prayed for her son, we anointed her son. He had been basically um, for 14 days straight, he was there and there was no response. But the day after we prayed for him, he responded and the doctors were amazed. Anyway, apparently it turns out that he actually had an encounter with God and he saw heaven. Now he's speaking, he's, made a, he's making a tremendous recovery and I'm going to put his mum, Cecilia, on to share with you about her son Nathan's uh, testimony. He's still in hospital, so keep Nathan in your prayers. Alright, so nice and loud. Yeah, hi, I got Jenna then and Stefan to pray for my son. He was pushed through a window and he lost all his blood coronary heart attack declared dead declared so dead, he was, declared he, was dead. Gi he was given 0.001 percent of waking up as Genevieve said they prayed over him anointed him the next day he woke up the doctors are amazed at his progress he has gone in two weeks from turning off life support to a funeral to He's going out in a wheelchair today from to the park. And I said to him, son, where did you go in your spirit journey when you weren't here with me? He said, mom, you know how we tell you, stop talking about God, there's no one's out there. He said, I'm sorry, mom, for saying that to you because I met God. He said in heaven he's so beautiful. He met Je Jesus? And Jesus. So he, met, so, yes. so he met God the Father and Jesus God the, the Father, oh, Jesus, and the angels took him to, the, to his father and he said, it's not time for you yet but so, we've got to so change the angels something. took him to god the father yeah jesus Glory. and the angels jesus walked to hold his hand and, and and what did jesus look like did he explain to you what he jesus just said he's like? too beautiful to explain he felt him love 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 oh glory and he's seen his pop and that and so he's seen his pop in his heaven? two pops his real biological pop and a man who lived with us for 68 years um they said what you're not so like he yeah. said heaven is the most beautiful thing ever he can't describe it and he said the angels he said i love them he said can you see them on there everywhere look at them flying now everywhere so There's, even in his room while he's lying there talking to you he can yep, see angels yep. all around him and i said who do you keep looking at behind me he said just the big guy angel that loves you Oh wow! So he was actually yeah. looking at your yeah. guardian angel, the, yeah. the big guy angel that. <gasps> yeah. And anyway, he said to me, then he said, and then I went to another place, and oh my goodness, that's terrible! I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. The pit. So he went to the pit of hell. He said, and it stinks. He was shown the pit of hell. Jesus led him through, and he said, yeah. He said, the demons got you, mum. I said, the demon, don't be scared of them, because they just. Jesus just looks their way and they run and hide and scream and yes and all the people were screaming yes. help me Jesus help me he said you don't know me I don't know you oh so when he when he was shown the when pit, he was walking through the pit he saw of people hell. in the lake of fire screaming yep. help me Jesus and Jesus turned his face and said I don't know you he didn't know me 
I don't know you now. And he said, to Nathan, you have to go back. My father is sending you back. Um, and you have to be good. You're, he said, we're sending you back and we're just showing, I'm showing you this pit. That if you keep continuing, even though you should be where heaven is, the demons want to take you from us. And we're showing you what's going to happen if you do. If you continue in sin. So basically yes. Jesus warned him and showed him. And showed him. If you continue in sin, yep. once, once you recover, this is where you'll end up, in the lake of fire. Yep. And he said, wow. we're sending you back to your mum. She needs you and you need her. What an amazing testimony. And, so um, powerful. Yeah, he, um, he's had a drug issue for many years. And the nurse had come to medicate him. And she had a syringe in her hand. Well, he nearly crawled out of that bed. He can hardly move. Don't you bring that near me. I'm not having it. That's the pit. That'll take me to the pit. Wow. Yeah. And then they bought tablets and medication. Not them either. That's the pit stuff. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. And he's terrified. But he's like, and when he, he's having flashbacks to what happened to him. Yeah. And the only way I could quiet him is if I cuddle him. And I say, Nathan. Tell me about the angels. He said, yeah, they're here. So did he, did he describe what, what the angels in heaven looked like? Did he describe he them? He said he can't. They're just too beautiful. Just the two he beautiful. doesn't have words. He said that they're big guys and they're fast. And they're they, big guys and they're fast. <laughs> and no one can beat them. Amazing. He said, but they were only the little soldiers. I didn't get to meet the big soldiers because they got special work at the moment. Oh, that's what he said. Yep, oh, he wow. said because big wars coming. So he actually was told by Jesus that a big war is coming. Yep, that's why he didn't make uh, um, the Michael or the big ark. So, so basically the Lord Jesus told him and he's coming that, here to the big war. That, that there's a big war that is coming yep. and the big soldiers, the, the are getting angels, ready. are getting ready. They're preparing for this war. The big war. What an amazing Doors testimony. Yep. That's so powerful. Yep. What? And this is a boy who had demons tattooed on him, which you anointed. Yeah. So... He said, and he, there's one on his leg in the chicken. He says, cover that, I don't want to look at it. It's a demon with a rosary on it. He said, cover that, right. it's not right. But, that, but he said, bah, that's how much it can be helped. Right. Well, glory yeah. to God. Um, so since when we prayed for, for Nathan while he was in hospital, um, I just was led by the Lord to anoint his tattoos because he's got tattoos of, of demons. Um, and I anointed and, and, you know, I anointed his, his tattoos and and uh, just prayed over him and just asked the Lord to take control and glory to God um, her son Nathan while he's been in hospital he's had a powerful encounter with Jesus Christ he's seen heaven he's seen the angels so for those of you out there who want to say that God is not real Jesus is not real heaven is not real hell is real there's too many people having near-death experiences that are being shown heaven and hell Cecilia's son is 34 years old he never ever believed in God he would hate it when his mom would preach to him about Jesus and God. Yeah. But in God's mercy and grace, he allowed Nathan to be shown the spiritual realm. He's obviously never read the Bible, so it's not in his mind. It wasn't a dream. Jesus took him to heaven. He saw relatives in heaven. Jesus took him to hell. Jesus said, once you recover, if you continue in your sin, this is where you will end up. And friends, that's just the reality. There is a God who loves you so much that He died for your sins and He rose again on the third day. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall not perish, but shall receive everlasting eternal life. And it's just a miracle the way the Lord has been moving um, in the hospital uh, for her son Nathan to, um, to be restored. And it's a miracle. The doctors basically... After 14 days of him not waking up, the doctors basically gave Cecilia no hope and said that there's no chance really of him surviving. But it just so happened by chance that the Lord sent me and Stefano to the hospital to pray for people that day. And as we were there, Cecilia came running up to me and she said, Jesus answered my prayers. I was hoping to see you, sister. Please come up and pray for my son. Now, as you know, with the COVID rules and restrictions, 
It's not easy to just walk into a hospital and pray for someone, but God is the God. Jesus is the God that opens doors that no man can shut. Hallelujah. And, uh, and he opened the door for me and Stefano to go with Cecilia to pray for Nathan. And uh, even then when we prayed for him... Uh, access numbers? <laughs> yes, we, we prayed for him and... Um, and he, well, he was obviously seeing Jesus even at that point. Something happened because his eyes were following me and Stefano and he knew that something had taken place. And I knew that, all right, Lord, there is power in your word. You are not the God who makes That's mistakes. Right. He opened them when you were there yeah, he, and he followed you all the way out. Yes, so his eyes were closed all along. But when we were there, he opened his eyes and he was following us. And, um, and the Lord had basically moved in a wonderful way. And... Um, so we want to encourage you, friends, if you're hearing this message, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that He sent His only Son, that whosoever shall call on the name of Jesus shall not perish, but shall receive everlasting eternal life. I want to encourage you today, don't be a mocker, don't be a scoffer. Jesus bled and died on the cross of Calvary for your sins. And if you choose to scoff and mock at this message and to reject the Son of the living God, well, you've already made your choice. See, God will never send you to hell. We choose hell ourselves when we reject the Son of God. Precious holy blood was shed on the cross of Calvary to wash away your sins. Hallelujah. What are you going to do about Jesus? Friend, the Bible says if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and that God rose Him from the dead, you will be saved. Come to Jesus today. Time is running out. We're living in the very last of the last days. And Jesus Christ is coming back. Every single word that has been written in the Word of God is true and will come to pass. Because Jesus is the Word of God and He remains the same yesterday, today and forever. Hallelujah. And uh, amazingly enough, Chantel's son Nathan was told by Jesus, oh, sorry, sorry, uh, Chantel's, um, Cecilia's son, Cecilia's son Nathan was told by Jesus that the the bigger angels or the bigger soldiers, angels, cannot be introduced to him because they are preparing for the war that's about to take place. Hallelujah. There's a war that's about to take place. And we know the Bible speaks about the war. Nathan has no knowledge of the Bible. So this is quite phenomenal how God reveals to people the truth, the reality of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I'll put Cecilia back on and, and whatever else she wants to say to you. Um, I'll just share very quickly that even the way that Cecilia came to Christ was all a God moment. Yeah. The Lord told me to preach in a, in a particular area. And as I was preaching in that area, he, at one point he said, Daughter, speak out loud, preach out loud. And at that point when I preached out loud, precious sister Cecilia came running up to me. This would have been about two or three years ago now, I think yeah. it was. And the Lord just, basically, she was so touched by the message. She gave her heart to Jesus. We prayed for her. The Lord healed her on the spot because she was going through some things. And um, let's just say that ever since then, the Lord has been moving in a wonderful way. And, um, and now God has touched her son. And we believe this testimony is just going to reach the ends of the earth. And, um, and, uh, and many will come to know Jesus Christ. So I'll put Cecilia back on and she can preach the good news. No, Alright, no, sister? No, we can't. Look. We bind you in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. We're actually doing the video right now. Sorry, ma'am, but we're, we're, we're doing the video and uh, you see, this, this is what happens when you preach about Jesus or when you talk about Jesus. Demons get mad. Feathers are ruffled. Jesus said that we are to preach the good news, friends. And here we are as we're preaching the good news and we're doing a video here and we're sharing a testimony on the train. The enemy is really enraged by this, you know. If we were talking about Buddha or Muhammad, it would be a different story. But there's power in the name of Jesus. Amen. And people hate the name of Jesus. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of you on that day. So we want to encourage you. Don't be a scoffer. Don't be a mocker. Don't be ashamed of the one who died for you. You'll face him as your judge on judgment day. Choose him as your savior or face him as your judge, friends. Hallelujah. And um, so let me just put precious sister Cecilia back on and she'll continue sharing with you um, the rest of her son Nathan's encounter. Hallelujah. And something funny he said to me actually this morning when I left to go and have a shower at my mum's. 
I said, I've got your clothes ready so you can go out in the wheelchair. And he said, no, you haven't got it all. I said, I have, I've got thongs, I've got shorts, pants, and a shirt, and a jumper. He goes, where's my armor? The, oh, where's my armor? Oh my goodness. <laughs> he knows nothing of the armor of God. He said, get the armor, because you can't go back outside without the, that. The armor of God, hallelujah. Because I've been calling him my soldier, my warrior. Yeah. Oh, praise Jesus. And thank you, Lord. Say, yeah. All right, so, so yeah. thank you for everybody listening. So, so the train's about to stop at Glenfield, so you yeah. just want to tell them to Praise the Lord, receive amen. Jesus and to, to share Jesus. his testimony. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. God bless. All right, brothers and sisters in Christ, this is the time that we're living in. Um, Jesus is coming back soon. There's my beautiful daughter, Morale. Say hello. And um, we want to encourage you, come to the Lord now before it's too late. Let go of all your pride. The devil fell because of his pride. Humble yourself before the living God and you will receive forgiveness for your sins. We love you so much and we'll see you soon. Keep Nathan in your prayers. Bye-bye now. Thank you.